Hi, I'm Andrew Donahue, Museum Curator and Director of Cultural Affairs at the Indian Museum of North America at Crazy Horse Memorial. The following film is an excerpt of our conversation with our friend, artist Jim Yellowhawk. Jim's exhibit honoring his grandfathers, Elkhead and Yellowhawk, is here now at the Native American Educational and Cultural Center at Crazy Horse Memorial. We hope you'll come and join us to see this wonderful exhibit. My medium has always been mixed, you know, I've, I've constantly changing, so it's never, never the same. <laughs> so right now it's probably ledger, a lot of ledger. I, I kind of stuck with that, I guess, a lot of ledger work in my, in my pieces. But um, I do like to experiment and I like to push myself to try different things that, that uh, I haven't tried before. So sometimes I'll use even like neon light. Um, I think I had an exhibit here a couple years ago with with neon light and dealing with the, the motorcycle. So, but so a lot of contemporary work I like. And um, but um, right now I'm just pretty much uh, I use a lot of ledger um, in my work and photographs. So I think a lot of my work I honor a lot of my ancestors. Anyway, but these two two um, two men. Uh, uh, my grandfather, Hihakapa, Elkhead, and then Grandpa, Chitangi, Yellowhawk, um, that um, they were probably some, some uh, mentors I always looked up to. So I've done a lot of originals of them over the years. Grand grandfather Hihakapa, um, also known as uh, Red Hair, he was uh, in the Battle of Little Bighorn. Um, he was a keeper of the uh, Chinupa, we call it Chinupa, uh, the pipe. And um, he, um, after the battle, he went up to, uh, he was driven up to Canada with Sitting Bull during that time. And he was with them and, um, and uh, long story is that he, ended up in Greengrass, where the, the government gave him 160 acres of land each. So that he was the first, first one to be in a community of Greengrass um, and to set up settlement. And, and I was kind of really thinking about that. It was probably really, it was a hard, hard thing, you know, that you're, 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 here you're all, you know, have your own, you're free, you know. This land was our, you know, ours, and basically then you're put into a little 180 acre spot. More stories about him, but he also was the uh, one of the signers of the Port Laramie Treaty, and um, so that's another big thing, you know, that in honoring of of him and my other grandfather, Chitangi. Yellowhawk. Um, he was uh, from the Sanzark band, and he um, his life wasn't as long as uh, my other grandfather. He, he was born in uh, 1820 and passed away in 1870, so that makes him he was probably just 50 years old, and he was given the peace medal. So. Um, that a lot of pictures you'll see that piece of metal on this, he's wearing. So um, I uh, I had a couple um, fellowships with the Smithsonian, and uh, I got to do a little of, uh, research on him when he went to Washington D.C. So he was part of the delegation in 1867 to Washington and. Um, and he also was a signer of the uh, Fort Laramie Treaty of uh, 1868. So, and then he passed 1870. So it wasn't that long after. Yeah, it's um, a strong piece. It tells the battle, battle of the Big Bighorn, through one bill, and um, so uh, after. I researched and I almost giving up. Um, I went to the local museum here, Journey, 
and here, right there, <laughs> it's part of their collection. And I was blown away. I said, they didn't have any title of the, you know, the um, where it came from, you know, on the thing. All they said was Battle of the Bighorn painting. And I was like, there's, there's that piece. <laughs> so I was kind of was like crazy, you know. I so I've been looking all over for this. And so basically, it's um, it was um, given to my grandfather Hihakapa Elkhead, and by one bull was a nephew of Sitting Bull, and he was known by for his art and doing a lot of ledger style paintings. And so he's a painter. He gave he gifted it to my grandfather Hiakapa. So the story is that whenever their ceremony, because my grandfather was a you know spiritual leader, that whenever um, he did ceremony, that this linen painting was brought out. I wanted to do a replicate of it, yeah. and I asked Connor, you know, if he had a good, you know, photo of the, you know, I could use because um, originally I wanted to try to get the original back to the family, yeah. but um, then I thought about it and I said, you know, it's kind of, it's really delicate, you know, and and I think it would be uh, not a good thing, you know. I think it would probably, you know get lost or something in the family and he needs something to really protect them so they have it and protected Lydine and it's, a, it's in a good place, you know. That was another idea I had to to do, you know, because I, um, I dance, I'm a dancer and I wanted to carry carry their, their Chinooka bags, you know, especially. And um, my I think the my elk head, I couldn't find really. There's no color, color, uh, you know, color, you know, color painting or whatever. So I couldn't tell what the colors to use, but I could just go by my mind what I thought the bag would look like. So that's what I went by on his bag, um, by several uh, several photos I seen of it, and then. Um, the yellow hog bag was pretty easy because there was an actual photograph. <laughs> and it's kind of ironic that the bag is actually um, in Belgium. Belgium in the museum there. And they had a photograph in the, in the book. And I had a friend come up and say, is this your relative? And I said, yeah. I said, where did you find this? You know, and I said, I seen this and he's from Belgium, you know. Had, um, some friends that are awesome quillers and bead workers, and there's two people that worked on the yellow hug bag, and I was able to um, com commission and do. I think the final, I'd like to say, um, I want to also recognize the other ones that participated. Yes. You know, in this, it wasn't just my work, but um, my father, you know, asked to do a piece, and he has a piece here, and two of my cousins that come from the, you know, I asked him to do the work, and even my son I asked him to do some work, and and then um, other artists that uh, didn't work on my grandfather's um, the bronze over there, uh, and um, Jim Oberly did the drawing, sketch drawing of our two families connected together, and and he's also an amazing artist. So I think the. Biggest thing is, you know, it's, you know, like I said, sometimes we, you know, like these two grandfathers of mine weren't, you know, they're not, they weren't like, uh, you don't see them like in the, they're not in the textbooks, they're not as popular like, you know, Sitting Bull or Crazy Horse or, you know, Gaul or, you know, and, and they were right up there, you know. Mm -hmm.